What underused tool can you use to keep from overloading your audience with PowerPoints and information about you? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. In previous videos, I've talked about how to properly use PowerPoint and even introductions. And the reason you want to do this is because audiences get overwhelmed visually with PowerPoint slides that are filled with too much information. They also get overwhelmed by introductions that are a list of all your accomplishments and can be too self-congratulatory. Never forget, we're there for the audience. And that starts with the first words of the introducer before you say a word. How can you solve this problem and get people the information they need and also give some credibility to your background and why you should be on stage? Create top-notch handouts. The value of this to you as the presenter is it allows you to stay focused on the big picture. It keeps you from inundating the audience with too much information. Keep in mind, there are all types of personalities sitting in front of you. We don't want to lose the attention of the more A-type, uh, big-picture thinkers because you're getting bogged down in details. That's not the purpose of a keynote, especially. Even in workshops, you have to be careful. But if you're just giving a, a 30, 45, 60-minute talk, you cannot get bogged down in details. The handout will help you solve that problem. It can provide the charts, the graphs, the supporting evidence to the points you're making. This also holds true with the introduction. You've probably heard me say this before, but the introductions I hear are typically these long list of accomplishments of the speaker, and truthfully, as, as an audience member, I don't care. I don't care until I know what benefit you're going to bring me. I've just invested my time, maybe some money, uh, my precious resources. Do not make this all about you, especially in the beginning. Let me know right away. Tease me like a movie trailer. What am I going to get? All of your background, your accomplishments, your credentials should go in a bio at the back of the handouts. Now, there are two types of handouts I use. One is the type that I give to the audience during the presentation. This is an example. This is my program, Confidently Speak to Influence. Notice there's not a lot of detail here. There are questions. These are questions that I will ask during a presentation. I don't like to fill in a lot of information because I think it's kind of egotistical to assume that just because I said it is exactly how the audience will hear it. I want them to interpret what I say in their own words and write it out. There's a secondary reason for the handout. The fact that they're writing some type of physical activity makes it more experiential for the audience. They're more likely to internalize what I'm saying. Now, as for the detailed information that I suggest that you hand out, wait till the end of your presentation. You probably guess why. If you're handing out lots of data and graphs and charts, there's a good chance they'll start reading it. You don't want them doing that. Have it as a resource available. It's like a bonus to the audience for sticking through to the end with you. If you've got questions on how to best manage handouts or how to put them together, contact me. I'll be happy to talk with you. Talk with you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.